Financial literacy is a topic many say that they wish they had learned in high school. The state attorney general now introduced a bill requiring all California high school students to take a personal finance course along with an economics one. KIO Enzaña Romero reports tonight on the importance of the program and some hurdles that come along with it. The 2026 school year could start with students needing to take a personal finance course to graduate after the state attorney general introduced an initiative last week. The initiative could be left for voters to decide on next year, but Mary Alicia McRae says high school students should learn about self-financing sooner rather than later. People don't understand that credit card um, debt can just keep growing and growing and growing and that the percentage is horrendous. You know, it's, sometimes it's over 20%. McCray says she taught her kids and her grandchildren the importance of financial literacy at home, but says it would have helped being taught while they were in school. I have a 17-year-old granddaughter. She's getting a lot of financial literacy from her dad. I don't think she knew enough about money. A new study by Ramsey Solutions found that 88% of American adults do not think high school prepared them to handle money in the real world. That's a big reason why Salinas Valley Library offers a number of financial literacy resources from books to online access. Patrons can get information on uh, Medicare, on uh, investing in the markets, as well as just planning financial success for the future. The initiative says there are potential costs to schools that could reach in the high tens of millions of dollars annually the first few years before stabilizing. Costs would be related to hiring teachers, curriculum development, and gathering teaching materials. We reached out to MPUSD and the Salinas Union High School District on a statement. They said since the initiative hasn't been voted on yet, they choose not to comment for now. Reporting in Salinas, Daniel Romero, KION News Channel 46. Sometimes a refresher course for adults wouldn't hurt. According to Californians for Financial Education, only 1% of California students are required to take a personal finance course as a requirement for graduation that's compared to 48% annually.